I live my life one frame at a time. Nothing else matters. But with this laptop, you'll be living at hundreds of frames per second because this thing is a mong star, mong mong, an absolute weapon. And it honestly doesn't get any better than this for gaming. You're not going to get anything faster unless you're going into desktop parts. This thing is a serious piece of kit. This is the Gigabyte Aorus 17X. Of course, it comes with the latest Intel 10th generation parts. This one here has the i9-10980HK. And of course, you can get the i7, both i7 variants actually, the 6 and 8 core. But it also comes with up to RTX 2080 Super and 200 watt versions. And yesterday I actually had a look at one of the lightest Ultraborgs with insane battery life. And now I go to this absolute monster, which, yeah, is not an ultralight. But let's just say this gives a new meaning to it's worth the wait. Because this has some serious power up to 300Hz display, 17.3 inches, 240Hz or 144Hz. ESS Sabre Hi-Fi Audio DAC and... To top it all off, Omron Mechanical Keyboard. So let's have a look. Let's unbox it. And I can tell you now, when you unbox something and it has two power supplies, you know you're in for a party. Yes, two 330 watt power supplies. That's what you need to power this beast. And as I said before, yeah, you don't get any better than this unless you're going into desktop parts. And let's be frank about this. This is going to blow a lot of desktops away. Now, of course, I'll leave the latest prices in the description there. But if you want the ultimate in gaming performance, mobile gaming performance, because, you know, it's a hell of a lot easier than carrying a desktop around. And you get that beautiful 17-inch display, which I've always said 17-inch is best for gaming on laptops. The bigger the display, the better. Now, so if we open her up, you can see it's an absolute beast. You know, it's going to have all the ports you want. It's even got Thunderbolt. It's got two M.2s in there. Uh, this one has 16 gigs. I'm going to actually find out how it performs with Flight Simulator. That's what I really want to know. Because if you look on Microsoft's site and you look at the recommended like best specs for Flight Simulator, I mean, what stands out there? It, was, it wants 32 gigs and it wants an RTX 2080 Ti or like a Radeon 7, which is the most powerful AMD graphics. And you're going to need a beefy laptop to play that thing, which you're going to find out. I'm going to find out with 16 gigs. So make sure you subscribe for that. And I'm going to put 64 gigs in, see how much of a difference it makes. I mean, you're not going to get anything more powerful than this in sort of laptop. So we're going to see what flight sim takes. But as you can see here, this thing is an absolute weapon. The styling will be to your liking or not, but you can't deny that Gigabyte don't skim. They give you all the best options, the best pass, the best SSDs, the best RAM. They always do that. They give you all the ports as well. They give you mechanical keyboards. I mean, no one else is doing this, like giving you everything you want as a gamer and not skimping on anything there. So we're going to slam this thing now and do a hardcore thermal test. And what you'll see is I'm actually downloading a flight simulator in the background. So this ain't a fair test, but it will give us an idea of how much watts it sort of can sustain, even while it's downloading. And Wi-Fi heats things up. When you're, you know, slamming Wi-Fi, you'll know that the fans come on. You know that. So it's already hot to start off with. And what I can say is easily maintaining 250 watts, like CPU, GPU together, the CPU could do over 100 watts sustain, which is quite amazing. I could undervolt to minus 150 millivolts, and I could actually overclock it a little bit. That will be chip specific, of course. And yes, that GPU can use 200 watts in gaming loads. If you slam in CPU and GPU together with, say, Luxmark, it looks like it's 250 watts. I want to see after I'm not downloading if it, you know, increases more than 250 watts. But that's a hell of a lot of wattage there to sustain concurrently both CPU and GPU. And yeah, it gets loud. Don't worry about that. But it's exhausting a lot of air. And yeah, the amount of watts it's pumping into the parts here, as you can see, it's not going to be quiet. Gaming laptops aren't quiet. I actually did have it in gaming mode and I didn't have it in full fan speed mode, which probably will give us a bit better performance or at least reduce those temperatures, which, you know, they seem fine. And, you know, considering how much I was pumping into it, yeah, it's in the 90s or whatever. That's perfectly fine because it's sustaining, you know, what you sort of want for a gaming laptop. 
So anyway, that's my quick and dirty look. Have a look at the thermals now of me slamming it. Just bear in mind that I am downloading at the same time, so it will get better. So stay tuned for my video. Probably tomorrow we're going to see what it takes to play Flight Simulator. And I'm really interested. They recommend 32 gigs. Do you really need that? That's crazy. Anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.